Those current temperatures are shocking. They are shocking. In fact, Greg, just to put it in perspective, it's almost as cold as we were the entire morning today. So we know that was cold. Well, folks, it's almost about to match that and maybe drop a little below that. So if you thought last night was cold, well, just wait ahead and wait till we get to tomorrow morning. We may be even a little chillier out there. Let's look at these numbers again. Hard to believe this is what I like to call the Pepto Bismol map right here because we've got that uh, deep pink and purplish color showing up here. Seven in Cleveland, Athens, Dayton. It's one degree above zero right now in Altamont. That's probably not going to last very long. And then five in Blue Ridge, three in Murphy. We have nine degrees here in Chattanooga and Dalton, six degrees in Lafayette, nine degrees in Scottsboro and eight in Fort Payne. And it's not just the cold temperatures. Believe it or not, we still have winds that are sustained in that 10 to 15 mile per hour range coming in out of the west and northwest here. You combine that with those temperatures already down in the single digits across the area. And yes, everybody's wind chill right now definitely below zero. In fact, it is currently feels like it's five below in Chattanooga, 14 below in Murphy feels like it's six below in Dalton, seven below is what it feels like in Fort Payne and it feels like four below in Athens and 11 below in Dayton and Altamont feels like it's about 15 degrees below zero. All right, let's talk about these dangerous wind chills because they may get a little lower as we go throughout the night. That's why pretty much the entire Tennessee Valley once again under a wind chill warning and this goes all the way through noon time for your Saturday. So if you got to do some shopping early tomorrow morning, you'll have to bundle up just like you did this morning for tomorrow morning with these wind chills as low as that 10 to 20 below uh, zero in the valley areas and as low as 30 below zero in the higher elevations. All right, let's talk about, uh, I guess you could call it some good news, right? The three degree guarantee. Of course, we predicted the high temperature of 46 degrees yesterday. Well, the official high temperature was 49, so we just made it. Believe it or not, the temperature actually went up a few degrees between 11 and midnight just before that cold front moved through Chattanooga. But hey, it's good enough for us to add another $10 to the pot. And tomorrow's high temperature, we're forecasting 25 degrees, so we'll see how that goes. Hey, 25, that's a lot better than the 1415 that we saw earlier today, at least during the daytime hours. All right, let's show you some sky watcher numbers from this morning real quick. Cindy and Riceville had six degrees. David and Rossville had six, 10 from Lois and Jasper, nine in Turtletown. We had six in Mineral Bluff, seven in uh, Delano, and Billy and Dunlap had three. Five below is what Jeremy said in Mont Eagle. Three below in Flat Top. We had one degree from Paul and Red Bank. And of course, uh, Lookout Mountain had one degree, six degrees this morning in Trenton. So as we go throughout tonight, basically we're headed back there. Temperatures, uh, low single digits in the valley areas at zero and likely below zero in a lot of the higher elevations by tomorrow morning. But here's the good news, sunshine, cold conditions for your Christmas Eve. We're talking about temperatures getting into the low to mid 20s for high temperatures out there. I do want to let you know very cold conditions will extend through the holiday weekend, but I am tracking a weak clipper system that will be coming on through as we get into late Monday into Monday night. Could squeeze out a couple of flurries or snow showers. Won't be a big deal, but hey, could have a couple of more flakes flying around the sky. Here's your storm alert seven day forecast seven tomorrow morning in Chattanooga 25 though a heat wave by Saturday afternoon. How about low 30s on Sunday? So uh, Greg, that's a Christmas gift. We are warming things back up <laughs> a heat wave for St. Nick.